I'll give you like one more minute. We're going to random card because we're trying to make it all the way through the deck before I shuffle. I'm going to start passing out your masteries. Just leave them alone for right now. We're going to talk about them in a minute. They do not have markings from me. I looked over them, but we're going to grade them together because I think, like, I've been reading some research, and I think it matters more when you see your mistakes and you have to mark it wrong than if somebody else tells you this is wrong. Um, so let's see if I can get this right this time. Um, here's your favorite. Like I just said, nothing is written on it. Just ignore it for right now. Oh, here's both of yours. Because you did. Hey, so what shows you maturity is if like something different than normal can happen and yet you don't have to react. Like Miss Howard can walk in and talk to her if she needs to without you reacting. But it will be eventually. Sophie Lemon not here. I might have some questions about that, but I'm not going to let my my distractible brain do what it wants to do right now. So I'm going to hang on to those questions, but I do might need to circle back to that. So no Sophie, no Ashley. What? I, that's just me being silly. I know who people are. Bethany, but you weren't over there yesterday. I feel like you were over there. Either yeah, way. But I could go around the room and name who all of you are, which will become ever more obvious when at camp we know who you are. No, because that's a waste of time. So, moving on, we're going to go over these real quick. Then we're going to talk about the mastery. You will need a pen or something that's not a pencil. So in the next couple minutes, work on getting that out. Matt. I know, it's your phone, you're, it's all good. You're a special situation, you and I might need to talk, but like, please don't ask questions in front of the 20 other people in here that are just about you. Right? We can talk if we need to, but at most of them, you had the same answers. So I looked at both, and I was just kind of chuckling, like, why don't you do this again? It was right here. Like, see how this paper is sitting here? It was literally, like, right there. Especially at the drumstick. Hey, go to the nurse and ask her if she can rinse it out. Hey, nurse, office, somebody. All right, 19 over 99. I think we talked about it yesterday, but Devin, what was 19 over 99? I'm still going to student down who got hit by a drumstick in the eye. I just want to see if somebody can it out for him or something. Um, and he's using like a hard ice pack, a bag of ice might be better. Ray didn't kill us. Thank you. All right, 19 over 99 was, sorry again. Zero, but if we want to be real efficient, we only have to write that 19 once, right? We don't have to write it multiple times, but the bar, guys, you need to practice this, goes over every number that gets repeated. So since 19 gets repeated, you can't just put the bar over the nine, it needs to be over the one and the nine. Jane, what about B? All three of them repeat. Raiden just went to the office. Eli, what about C? Yeah, now D, E, and F get a little funkier. Jack, what about D? Guys, if you didn't do these, you really should. Um, 
Sorry, zero point zero zero one. What happens after that? Zero zero one. Zero zero one. So it's repeating zero zero one? No, it's zero, zero, 001 because there are three. Uh, I'm not going to show you yet. I'm going to see if anyone can figure it out. E, make a little split line. E, come on, can you help me with E? Yeah, like the decimal. Five hundred twenty-four thousands. And then that happens again, right? Five, two, four, five, two, four. Yeah. So both of those repeated three numbers. If you haven't tried F yet, try F. Don, what'd you get for F? Um, point zero one nine 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 nine. Careful. It's three digits repeated. So how you said it sort of sounded a little funky. I couldn't tell if it was three or four digits repeating. So make sure when you write it, it's obvious how many digits repeat. Guys, look up here. Well, actually, anyone know what's happening? Over 99 repeated 19. Over 999 repeated 391, 391, 391. Three over just nine repeated just three. Ooh, Sam. But not, but like, where, but these zeros, like what the, the numerators are. Yeah, two zeros of uh, place. We're going to repeat however many nines we have on bottom. It tells us how many numbers we're going to repeat. So guys, in your numerators up here, I would put zero, zero, one to make it three digits. Five, two, four, do I need to add any zeros? No, it's already three digits. F, what do I need to do to it? Add one. Add a zero in front, right? Because can I add a zero after the 19? No. No, that would make it 190. That would be seven. All right, sweet. Grab that mastery that I put on your table. You need a pen, something permanent. If you really don't have one, I have some intense red pens you can borrow. I don't like grading in red, so most of these are brand new. Uh, highlighter's a bit, like, big. I would probably use a pen. You need a pen. So a pen. Yes. Sharpie's going to be too thick, too bold. It's going to soak right through your paper. I would probably use a pen. Okay, that doesn't soak through your paper. But I would probably, if you're borrowing one of mine, I need it back, please. We already use it. To take your, you shouldn't. We should be doing math and pencil. So next time, do something different. Grade in red, then. Use a different pen. That you need to be quick. No, that's going to bleed through the paper. Um, guys, Sharpies are going to bleed through the paper. The fine point Sharpies you might get away with, but probably not even. So I do also have some pens right back here if you need it by the sign off sheet. So if you need to borrow just a regular ballpoint pen, you should have a pen in your binder. Guys. That's a thing you should have in your binder. You what? Yeah. Uh, that one might not bleed through the paper. Yo, here's how we're doing this. I don't normally... I don't normally do this on chapter tests. But I realize I put some chapter 2 stuff on chapter 1, and not that we hadn't covered it yet, but like... You'll notice as we look at this again, we're still doing this stuff. So if you got it wrong on the chapter one test, like that's okay. Mastery mindset, right? That like you got another chance. You can always have another chance to show that you know how to do it. So we're gonna check these. You're not changing anything right now. You're not revising. You need a pen. And if you need one, it's by the sign up sheet. Um, you're just paying attention and thinking about these problems with us. Okay, you're not doing the test right now. You're not revising the test right now. When you go to revise it, if you need to, how do you revise it? Not with a oh, pen. Jack? Step one. What do you need to get? 
clean piece of paper, right? I prefer graph paper, but I guess it could be whatever. Lane, what else? And then you need to, like, do your number, so like say I got number two wrong, number B on number two, and I need, I need to revise it and put the number of the problem. Yeah. Right you're going to label it so I know what problem you're revising. Emery, anything else to throw in? Then you uh, staple it to the paper. Staple it to the, the, the front or back? Front is the preference, so your new grade goes on the new paper, right? And that's on front, your new grade, because it's new. So if it's on back, I just fold it, right? I just normally fold it. So if you have your cheat sheet attached, you can either fold it and flip it to the side or pull it off if you want. I don't need to see these again, a lot of good stuff on cheat sheets. Some of us didn't use our cheat sheets, so that was a choice you made. Let's dive in, because we're not going to take long on this, because I didn't plan to take any amount of time on this. Mean. Add them all up, divide by how many you have. We get 87 there. For median, we got to sort, I don't know why I said smallest to greatest. I, I should have gone like least to greatest, but that's what sort S to G means. So I sorted out small to big, and I counted my numbers while I was sorting them to see that there are seven of them. So my middle number, my fourth number, 89, is my median. Number two, we have had a lot of practice with this, and I think these are the number lines that we've seen. So sorry, if it was right, sorry, if you guys had everything right, what you want to do is check here, check there. If not, mark it wrong, and like, you know, you'll come back to it, revise it. Right? I normally like will circle and maybe draw some arrows, like, you know, you're, you're looking at your own board. Remember? So, um, for the next problem, um, I just filled in where it went nice and put me said like So that's fine. If you did not have this work below, that's fine. If you were just able to mentally say 75 divided by 3. But here's the work I did if you need to know what I did. And I'm recording right now so you can always re-access this if you need to. Bethany? I got a different answer on the middle one. Uh, then it's probably not correct. Just because we take one, two, three, four, five jumps. So 75 divided by five, I think you should get 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 60, yeah. So I mean, you'll want to revise that. Right? So check marks or exit and moving on. I'm gonna pause on three for a minute so you can see that work, right? If we didn't know what to multiply by, what did we do to figure it out? Ooh, ooh, Thank ooh. you. And it's right over here, right? If we didn't know what to multiply by, Jack, you had a question. Um, I uh, cancelled out the numerator and the numerator. So I put the numerator and the denominator in the question. So you're going to want to revise this and maybe just write a note of like, I switched it up, numerator. New, now, this is dumb. Maybe I should put this poster up. I have a poster back in my closet that the numerator is the number writer and the denominator yeah i forget what the poster said i'll find it i'll try to put it up later i i need to put up a keep change flip poster anyways you have keep change so yeah numerator top number numerator's top number denominator bottom number d down d denominator d means down right d send d escalate d val uh I don't know if develop actually works for that. I don't know if D is the stem there. And then on four, it was pretty much the same thing. The trickier ones were where they left the numerator empty and like B, C, D. So you kind of had to work backwards once you figured out your giant one. And remember, I should not see pencils moving. I should see pens. Put, put in check marks or X's. I should see pens moving. Hopefully lots of check marks. Matt? So you just want to revise that, right? This is why we're doing this together, so you can catch your mistakes and be like, oh, silly, don't do that next time. Lee Harris, please come to the Perry office. Lee Harris, please come to the Perry office. When we're doing probability, we always need to know our total. So guys, I start by figuring out the total. That's step one for me. Then what is the highest probability? Blue. Which ones have equal probability? Purple and orange. 
And then I, and some of you probably did this, actually I think I saw some of you did do this. If you didn't read question six, and you just went ahead and said, oh, well I know it said fraction form, but I'm gonna go ahead and show the percent. And then you came down to problem six, and you're like, oh, <laughs> funny. Now, if you had done that up in problem five, you could have just like drawn an arrow. If you had done everything, fraction, decimal, and percent. Double check your decimals though. 40% is 0.4, or you could make it 0 0.40 if you really wanted. 10% is 0.1, or you can make it 0 0.10 if you really wanted, because that extra zero doesn't matter, right? Uh, because there are two purple out of 20 total. I'm not saying purple or orange. I'm not putting purple and orange together. It's asking which two colors have equal probabilities. What is that probability? So what is the probability of purple? What is the probability of orange? I'm not putting them together. Oh, you don't put them together? No, because it's not or. It's not one of those or situations. This is not purple or orange. It's just what is that probability of like that they are equal? Because they both have a 10% chance. 10% chance of purple, 10% chance of orange. They're equal. So if you accidentally put them together, you're not really wrong. You just misread the question. So that's fine. You just accidentally made it equal. Uh, our old copy machine. 16 copies per minute would be our unit rate. And then that would take me 20 minutes to run 320 copies. Emery? Um, I, I got like 320 copies on top of 20 copies. On top of 20 minutes is uh, what you got. You, uh, need, to I think your labels. you need to keep your labels, you need to keep your labels straight. Right? Straight across top, copies, copies, copies. Yeah, straight I across the bottom, minutes, minutes, minutes. So it's How do you get the top probability on my page? So for A, 16 copies per minute, you need a label. 16 is nothing. Could be dogs, could be cats, could be pizzas. 16 what? Okay. So you need copies per minute, and instead of writing the word per, you can do a slash if you want. And then at that rate, it'll take 20 minutes, right? I mean, I can't keep going back and forth. I know you were in the office and everything, but like we might just need to meet together. And remember, this is on YouTube. You can go check it out later if you need to. So just move on to eight with us. Like, quit trying to do anything in the past. Move on to eight with us, then we can circle back later if we need. You're just trying to play catch up. Math teachers think we are funny. Anyone see the, oh, uh, I see what you were doing there in number eight. Last year, that problem was number seven on my quiz. Seven tenths, seven sixteenths, seven ninths. I thought it was funny. It was funnier when it was problem seven. I know. So you could have gotten fractions bigger than this, but these are the smaller common denominators that we could have used. You had to get to common denominators. If you didn't, it's just straight up. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Is it an equivalent fraction? If so, it's right. Does that mean or not? Okay. Yeah, I don't know either. I could look at your work if there is work. So here's the deal. If you pretty much got everything right and you're like, yeah, no, this is mastery. You can flip back to the front, put an M on your paper, and you can turn that back in at some point. If not, if you made enough mistakes, you're like, yeah, I should fix this. When Hudson looks at this, like it's going to be progressing. Then how long will it take you to fix that one mistake? Just because someone was seven, I just add that. Just like make. So again, there are baby pieces of graph paper back here. I cut a ton of these last time. And there are half sheets. Actually, a lot of my baby pages disappeared. So yeah, I got a bunch of half sheets back here. If you want to, if you know you're gonna have to make a revision, 
I will give you a minute to do whatever you need to with that paper. If you believe it's mastery, turn it back in. Make sure that you have marks on all your questions. Checks, X's, whatever they need. Always. Top bin, always. And then my pens, my pens, please. You can just bring them back up here. Those are equivalent. They're just double. Yeah, they're equivalent. They're just, uh, well, the one's times five, and then the other one's double. But yeah, those are, those are right. Okay. Revisions get stapled to the front. Aren't you the one who told us that? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, just right there. So, yes, in the bin, always in the bin. Uh, I mean, sure, yeah, if, if it's mastered now. Yeah, that's a great question from Raiden. Like, if you did your revision, maybe you only had one or two real quick to do. Guys, the other reason I decided to do this, give me your eyes, give me your ears, please and thank you. When is quarter one grade cutoff? Friday. Friday. So anything we do after Friday is quarter two. For quarter one, we had your mini mastery. That's in math. We need, like, not we need, but, like, we might as well get this mastery in quarter one, too, so it's not quarter two. But I don't want y'all here for Discovery Day. I really would love it if everybody was out on Discovery Day. So I didn't want these revisions to take a long time. And what's Monday, Tuesday? Camp, right? We're gone. You can't do a math revision at camp. Well, we're coming back Wednesday. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, in my brain, it's like we're back Wednesday. So, like, you know, I'll be home. I will sleep at home Wednesday night, is what is in my brain. Lane? Wait, if we have a master, do you have to turn it back in? Yes, those were the directions. Put an M on it, put it in the bin. What if you have to invite me? If you need to hang on to it, keep it as long as you need to, and then turn it back in. Right, so try to get me those back very soon. Like today would be great if you keep it high on your priority. And we might have time at the end of class if we keep rolling. Here are your orders. You So I didn't do the whole like gimmick of we work at a fraction factory, but you now are employed at a fraction factory. Also, they have a decimal department, so you know. Uh, so, these three orders just came in. They would like a terminating decimal to represent 44 over 99. They would like a decimal that represents 0 0.28, but written as two different fractions. And your third order, they would like 0 0.43 repeating as a fraction. You and your partner, go. Try to fulfill these orders. If there's any issue, tell us what the issue is. Again, this is on your graph paper, right? We're, we're not in 222 two, two yet. We're wrapping up the last, uh, the very last thing of yesterday's lesson. We're not in 222 two, two quite yet. This is on your graph paper. Is something going on? Scientific notation. It's a special way of writing numbers. Matt, the thing you tried to remind me about yesterday is about to happen. So just to tell you the thing or whenever it was, it was just poor timing. So sorry if I was a little like, ah! That's not what I want to. It's all right. Timing is hard to figure out.
Um, Sophia, thoughts about order one? Wait, no, but it's your job. They want you. They said give me. It's your job. Oh, so you mean the customer's wrong? I thought the customer was always right. No. Guys, this, you're, guys, all because somebody says, I want this, this is not Burger King. You cannot have it your way. This is math class. 44 over 99 would turn into what? 0.4. Now wait, if it's 0.44 repeating, what else would this actually be equal to? 44 over 99, Eli? is the same as just 4 over 9. Either way, it cannot be terminating, though. Any questions on that? I'm leaving my pens over here. I do not know why. Like, my smart board pens, not my grading pens. 0 0.208. So first off, safe. I know you've got, got a lot going on back there, but 0 0.208. Is that terminating or repeating? Wait, yeah. wait, 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 that's true. Yeah, because does it have a repeating bar or the dot, dot, dot? No, it doesn't have either of those. So if I just want to turn that into a fraction, what's the easier way to write this as a fraction? I mean, you could just say it correctly. How do we write that as a fraction? 208 over 1,000. 208 over 1,000. Yeah, 208 over 1,000. So now their one request, you want to keep going or you want to move on? Uh, keep, going, keep, going. keep going with you. Their one request is 3,000 in the denominator. How could we get there? Uh, just by? Oh, well, it's safe. was going to keep going. They want 3,000 in the denominator. Oh, wait, 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 uh, times 3. So 208 times 3. Is 600, 8, 16, 24. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Let's get down there. And one with 125 in the denominator. I'll take a volunteer. They, a 125 in the denominator. I got it. Sophia? Well, we could, or, well, no, sorry, we do 125, to, but hold on, start back here. How could we go from 1,000 to, and if we don't know what to do, it is 1 eighth. So guys, what might be worth putting on your paper, because some of you have tried to tell me that we're not allowed to do this, and we are allowed to do this, you can divide on top and bottom, just like you multiply. Please have Margo Dorman to the office. Margo Dorman to the office, please. So if we take 208 and divide it by 8, what do we get? 208 divided by 8? Somebody with a calculator, please? Because I don't have one. 26. 26? Yes, I said. There we go. Divide by 8 to get there. And let's go class answer, see how good we can do with this. 0 0.43 with that little bar above it. What is that as a fraction, everybody? 43. 43. No, 43. What? 1,000.3? 1,000.3? you want to make a guess what goes on bottom? It's not 100. That's why I didn't write it. Arfam, Ashley, not here, Emery, Lane. Guys, what does this line tell us is happening? Go back and look at your graph paper. We did six of these. What denominators made them repeat, Jane? 99! Sorry, I saw you there, I just didn't want to jump to it because I figured you had it. Guys, over nines make the repeating happen. So if you are asked to make 0 0.43 repeating, 
You got to put it over 99. Questions? I don't know. Oh, I started writing 125, but then Sophia went ahead and had an answer. So. Oh, I got to pause my.